Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So of course we need a table to save this content because right now it's reading from the profile table. So let's see how we can do that. So if I go to my uh, PHP, my admin, Udemy DB, of course. Now there's no table to store what we want. So let's create one, create new table. This table will be called uh, slider. Images, conveniently, click OK. We'll obviously need an ID, auto increment, primary key. And then we'll need an image like that. And this one is variable character because we're just saving the path of the image. You can put it at uh, 1024 or 2048, depending on how long you expect uh, your paths to be. So I'm just going to, uh, yep, that's, that's it. So image, and then we have the title. Is it title? Yeah, yeah. And then we have the description. Yeah, we'll call it those title and description. So variable character as well, variable character. Um, you can limit the number of the amount of text. So maybe the title should be 100 and maybe this one can be 255. Okay, so people don't put too much text in there. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, let's, let's click. So we have that. Now when reading these, there's no real searching or anything like that per se. We just need the add ID with the primary key. That's it. We don't need to add any more indices here for no apparent reason, because we won't be doing any searches anyway. When we read from this table, we read everything at once. So not really that important. All right. So now that we have this, we can read from this guy, but let's save to it first before anything else. So, uh, yeah, now to save, as always, if we go to models, we need a model to save these things in. So let's look at a model that kind of resembles what we want. So very few columns, very little to do. So this is the currency model. Oh, yep. Let's copy this guy. So copy everything, right click on models, new file, paste, save. This one will be called slider model or just slider, that's up to you. Since now we're using namespaces, we don't really need to put model at the end, right? So let's just leave it be. I'll uh, remove that. I'll just say slider.php save. And then here I'll put slider. Now to avoid uh, conf confusion, you can change uh, the namespace to another namespace like slider namespace. So that even if for some reason you have a slider model that does something else, it won't conflict with this one. But for now, let's leave it in the model namespace. It extends model, which is also in the same namespace. Okay, so we need to validate, of course, whatever was supplied. Now in the model, we have a title. So let's just say title is required. We also have a description. Everything is required. So description is required. But then we have an image. So we have to know image was uploaded and is required as well. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, duplicate and do image here. A description and a image. Yes, an image is required. Okay, pretty cool. Now here we have our columns and the first column is title, description. We should probably have put a disabled column just so we can disable one if we want. Wait, ah, this image, right? So let's put image and title, image, description, let me swap these, doesn't matter the order. There's also a disabled, 
let's just add that so that we don't have to delete the row in order to disable it. Let's put tiny int because we just need 0 or 1 to know if it's disabled. Let's save. We can now use that for an index, but you know, there's going to be very few records in here. It will just be four records. So an index is not really necessary because even without one, we can always read very quickly from this table because it's very small. Okay. So with all that in mind, we are good. Now we have a, uh, a slider model, right? Okay, great. And the table name is called slider underscore images. Very nice. Okay, cool. So everything is fine now. We have all that. Let's close that. Now all we need to do is actually send this information to the right place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is when we are reading this information from here, we are now reading from the um, from the profiles page. So let's change that. So I'm going to go to admin.php and this is a slider images right there. We don't even really need this because we will never actually need it. We always only go to this page right here where we are editing and we'll never have an ID at the end, but let's leave it there. Why not? Okay, so everything else ID selected. Now, instead of getting the user model, let's get the, what's this one? Let's get the slider model. Okay, so we can select all instances of user, control D and replace with slider. Uh -huh. Don't go too far, don't get carried away. Up to there, and let's change with slider. Okay, then we can change things as we go. Now, this is the namespace it's in, but like I said, you can say use and then use the slider. So because like this right now, if I try and refresh the page, it will tell me uh, slider not found. So I could use it up at the top here, the way I did this and use slider, then that should import it into the base and that solves the problem. Okay, so it's saying that profile was not found. Yeah, yeah, because things are coming from the profile side. Okay, so let's fix that. So we're going down to slider images and we can ignore what happens when we post for now. The only thing we need is data row is a particular. Now here, instead of getting one particular thing, we're getting rows like that. And we're not getting first, we're just getting using the where clause. And really, we are looking for disabled, where disabled is equal to zero, like this, right? But if we go back here, uh, disabled, we didn't put a default let me change that disabled should have a default value of zero so that we don't need to add it in php but you can always add it through php so not a big deal but something to do so here if i now go up to there i can ignore everything in here until i get to this point so the title is not profile it should be slider images Everything else is fine. So back here, we should still see this error and it's there, but at least, uh, yeah. So let's go to the view side to fix that problem. So we're going to slider images view. There we go. And on this one, it says, if not empty row, then we have a problem. So let's change this to rows. So if not empty, then we show this. Right, right, uh-huh, uh-huh, else that, uh, that profile was not found. This is not possible now. If we don't get any rows, hmm, wait, it is possible. So still, even with uh, no images were found, let's try that to we'll see no images were found. Now, even with that, we still need to see 
what's going on. So this has become redundant. So let me just remove this whole thing here. Because whether they are images or not, we should be able to still see the whole page. So let me remove the whole if statement. It's nonsensical at this point. So there we go. And this is not profile. This one, the title should be slider images like that. Okay. So back here, let's refresh. And there we go. So slider images, very nice. If I now click on profile, see profile, slider images, there we go. So slider two is where we're at. That's nice. So slider image. Now there's an error here. So that's cool. Uh, the reason there are errors is because none of this content exists. And so that is a problem. But Mm -hmm. But um, what are we to do? Mm, let's see. Where are the errors? Like right here, raw image, right? It doesn't exist because we don't really have raw uh, right now. And the thing is, because we are only expecting, let's say, one, two, three, four rows, we know exactly their indices, right? So it shouldn't be with row. Let me uh, select all instances of row like this and put, press right key and put an S. So it's rows. And then I'm going to put some brackets. So looky there and put zero. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, that's the zero. The first item in the list, right? Mm -hmm. The first row. So let's save like that and then image. Okay, if I refresh, I'll still get the errors, right? But, but if I press control and right arrow key to move to the end of, because I'm doing this because I've selected multiple things. So I'll put a space and I'm just going to do two question marks like that to say, if that does not exist, put an empty string instead. So I'll put empty string like that. This way I will not have errors anymore, as you can see here. So the image does not exist, but let's put a, um, uh, a thingy here to replace this. Wait a minute. Do I have uh, inside functions? Do I have the get image function? Do I? Ah, looky there. We do have the get image function. Very appropriate for this, wouldn't you say? So what I would do is I'll say get underscore image and open bracket. I don't need the, this should actually move here. Boom. And yep. If that doesn't exist still, let's put those uh, empty strings and refresh. And there we go. So now at least we have the no image here and then we can upload an image we shouldn't have the option to trash or delete because that just creates more complication for our code i don't want to start dealing with that so just mute that guy all i want is the upload button mm -hmm. very nice yes yes so if i click here now i can add an image and let's see what will happen? Looky there. <laughs> uh, very nice. Very nice. Now, one thing we should keep in mind is that these tabs that we have here. Let's see. What am I trying to do? Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so these tabs that we have here active all at once. All of them are active at the same time. So, that's why you see information still there when I move around like this. They're just hiding the others. So we should keep in mind the names that we add to these things should not be repeated. They should be unique because we are still on the same page. Nothing is being refreshed. All right. So, so far, so good. We only have one item, so that's fine. We don't have to worry about that. Let's put a slider heading here. Now, if we click save changes, it should obviously go to... Where is it? Save profile. Yes. So let's figure that out. Save profile. 
Now, considering we have several of these pages, we should know which profile we're trying to save. Mm -hmm. So which one are we trying to save at this point? So if you can see here, we are on number zero. Okay, so that's the first one we are trying to save. Now, the key of this one, which is the primary key. Unfortunately, primary keys here always start at one. They are not starting at zero. Maybe it's a good thing. So they start at one. So we are trying to replace ID number one in the database. So what we would do is right on the event here, we're going to put a comma and put that number there. So that's the ID we're trying to save. That way we know where we are taking this item here. But it may not actually be. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. Ah, right. Okay, so the save, yeah, as you can see, the save button is not on these other sliders like this, which is wrong. It should be. So I need to change this. So let me undo this one I've added here and grab this div. Oh, I see where the problem is now. Hmm, I see it now. Okay, so let's move everything over. So I'm just going to grab this, cut from the form, and put this right about, let's see. This is the div that contains all the content in the other divs. So I'm just looking for its bottom, which is here. And this is where I will paste my buttons, right there. But now my buttons are outside the form. So if I move around like this, as you can see, uh, the buttons are still there, which is fine. But the form is now away. So I want to put the form as well outside this so that the form also has influence on these buttons. So let's move the top part of this form. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, now I'm lost. Oh, it's, is it this one? Yes, it's this one. So I'll move that, oopsie. Ah, redo, okay. Where's the form? Right there. It's no longer the profile edit form, right? Select there, move it to there like I saw, and let's delete this comment. Alrighty then, so we have our form there and things are good. Actually, you know, it's very strange. I don't know why, but we don't even need this form because we are submitting via Ajax. So the form is just symbolic, not really a thing to worry about, but it's good so that in case we need to select everything, we still can all the inputs, that's it, that, that's, that is. So click here, click there. Let's see that everything still works as intended and it still does, very good. Okay, now finally, let's look at the uh, save profile thingy. Now this one should grab everything in, oh, wait a minute. We need to name these babies. Um, this slider image, okay, that's cool. So what's this one named? JS file name, JS image preview. Okay, so once I repeat these guys, there's going to be version one, version two, version three, etc. So for now, it's only one item, so this is fine. So we have image preview. We have, let me change this, the image input with a preview. I want to look for the heading. So instead of first name here, uh, let me change every reference to first name here instead to heading. Oh, let's call it title instead. Slider title. Yeah. And same thing here, title. Okay, cool. Uh, let's move down to description and do exactly the same thing. This was the about, so let's select every reference to about and change that to description. Okay, uh, title there, that's cool. 
Alrighty then. Uh, looks good. Now let's go to down here where we are saving the profile. Where is that? Where is this? Okay, save profile. Mm -hmm. So we're getting our inputs and text areas. That's good. And adding them to this guy right there. Okay, the object for each. Uh -huh. If key is equal to image, blah, blah, blah. Uh, image added. I don't know what I was doing here. JPEG, PNG, that's cool. You know, for slider images, it's always good to just keep it JPEG. PNG is large file size, but if you've got small file sizes, that's fine. Only these images allowed and then send data. Okay, so send data. Uh, everything looks just fine. Uh, progress bar will show what's happening. And then to handle the result, we'll say, please correct the following errors if there was an error. And then profile saved. Okay, so we just say images saved successfully. And that's it. Or we display errors as needed. So everything else, that's the beauty of copying code. So everything else will work exactly the same way. Mm-hmm. Cool, but let's not click the save button just yet because otherwise we'll be replacing things in the in the profile when we do that on the other side. So now I need to edit what happens when a submit is done. Let's do that in the next video.